Witchcraft event. Hey everyone, it's uh, Ben Green from Atlantic Witchcraft Adventure. Uh, this is just the start, I think, of uh, a series we may run on uh, our vehicles, uh, at least mine. Uh, so this is a 2015 Subaru Forester uh, 2.5i Touring Edition, I believe. Uh, it's more or less as we bought it. We only bought it shortly, so it is. it was bought used. The only real change you can see on this is the tires. I have the original tires just off to the side that it came with. They're actually probably newer, slightly better tires. I picked up a set of rims within a few minutes of buying this actually off the Kijiji that were 16 inches versus the 17s that were on her and had functional tires on it. So I went with those. The tires actually are a larger diameter overall than the originals. So basically I went from a little over 27 inch tires to almost 29 inch tires. So that would give me a, a figure, about an inch clearance maybe added on to it. I can just check those numbers again. Um, it might actually be more like three quarters of an inch because I don't, I think it was a little 27 and a half up to 29, so one and a half inch diameter. But that will give something. Uh, it's also a more rugged tire that's on it now in the air. So, um, not a lot to say here yet. Uh, we also have a set of uh, roof rails, crossbars to go on onto it, and we have a set of J racks for canoes and stuff. So, this will give me the ability to take my canoes and kayaks and stuff on, on backwoods adventures, which is the whole point of this particular vehicle for us to get a little bit further back than the with our previous vehicle. So I kind of want to talk a bit about that. The other thing is I want to show it a bit as it sits now. Uh, as there's no virtually no deck lift on to it. We do have some plans, and this will be part of this series, where we are going to deck lift up and make it a bit mine and, and sort of relate it to our bushcraft channel. I hope that you find this interesting, and uh, whether I do it right away or through the magic of editing, I'll show you a few fun, uh, functions of this particular vehicle that, that we kind of some of the things I'm going to be taking. So I'll see you in a few more minutes. Thank you. Okay, so um, since we shot this original video, we have uh, updated the the look of the vehicle. So we've added some decals. You can see here in this picture um, a silhouette of treescape, uh, some mountains, and some compass roses. Um, we've also added some to the back. Uh, you'll get those in later uh, shows. Uh, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what we have changed so far. Um, thank you. Hey, back again. So, I'm going to start here, I guess, with a bit of what, what I carry within my vehicle. Um, so, as some of you guys would know, I'm a member of uh, Grand Search and Rescue. So, right now, I keep one container in the back that contains my uh, collar gear for my ground search and rescue. And we won't go into that in great detail, but uh, just to kind of show you a little bit of it. I have my clothing, outer clothing, and my pack. Uh, my pack contains everything that I'm required to carry in the woods. Um, there's a few other things that I'll eventually get put in here but basically this is something that I can grab and go in a few minutes notice and, uh, and attend a search. Uh, this won't necessarily always live in my vehicle but it is a grab and go item so that I can come home and grab this and go pretty quickly. Uh, there's a few paperwork Uh, I keep 
that in case something, you know, things go really bad, at least I can wrap up in that and make it through a night or something. So I have an axe, a saw, place them somewhere where I need to cut down the trees uh, for various reasons. We won't go too deep in that. A small folding shovel. This is part of my camp kit too. So a lot of this stuff is shared back and forth. And eventually I may get some things that are specialized just for the vehicle. I also keep it here, a work light. Tire repair kit, a uh, strap that really needs to be replaced, some small candles, and, and there's more of some of this stuff inside the main part of the vehicle. And right now, the lack of even better, uh, a tumbler. Um, this is all set up for the, in the eventuality of something going wrong, and I do need to try and get myself out. Just the preference of having a call for help. Uh, another item I have, sort of related to that, is this. Now, there are very a lot of brands for this particular product, but I'm hoping that this one will work well for me for right now. I picked this up at Lexus Auto on sale. But these are traction boards. Um, if you're unfamiliar with traction boards, um, they seem to have a really good reputation in the uh, off-roading world um, is something you can jam under your wheels and uh, get yourself a bit of traction and get yourself out. You can also potentially use them to bridge small gaps and, and various things like that. So I have a set of these and then eventually maybe I'll get a second set and have one for each wheel. But this would allow you if you get stuck to jam under the wheels and get yourself potentially back there. Or if you have a wheel that's lost traction, gone over a hole or something and you just can't get yourself out, it gives you a better chance of getting out. Uh, at anywhere between $50 and $300 for a set of these. Uh, if, if it saves you once, it's potentially, uh, on the cheaper end, it's potentially saving you more than a tow job. If you've used it two or three times, it's really paid for a pretty good tow job. Uh, and if, so if it saves you that trouble, I think it's probably something that's worth it. Uh, once I get to actually using these, I will give you some more information on what I think of it. But right now, it's in the vehicle for peace of mind. Right now, that's kind of the main thing back here. I also have 